Modern Warfare 3, Turbulence, single player level. I've chosen this level to do a talk through on as it's my favourite level in the game. We're playing the part of a Russian bodyguard on the Russian equivalent of Air Force One, the presidential jet. And it's my job to protect the president. Now I'm partnered, partnered up here with a Russian bodyguard. And it's my job to follow and attend the meeting. Now I'm having a good look round here, looking for the intelligence to find nothing there, making sure I know where everybody is. There's three guys in that room. The door's been taken away because she's not privy to the meeting. And it's my job to stand here and guard over the president while he's uh, deep in conversation with his aides. Gentlemen, we have only two choices. Now while this is going on, I'm just scanning the room, there's a guy on the left, a guy on the right, a guy down the far end. And we're good look for the intelligence, there's nothing there, there's a laptop over there. I don't think that's the one I need though. So here we go, we've got hijackers on the plane. An explosion at the front of the plane. Now that explosion first time round really caught me off my guard. Didn't expect it at all. I think I'm the bad guys. Taking out just the handgun I've been given. And the plane takes a steep dive here. To the, to the left. And a good look round. Now the, now the plane really does take a dive and the uh, rate is this in the game with the controller is absolutely fantastic. So the plane right this while the plane's in the steep dive, taking out the bad guys with the handgun. And then the dive stops. Very abruptly. And it's um, back down to the floor. Here we go, here's my objective. Take the first gun I come across, better than the handgun, follow the guy I've been instructed to. There's the intelligence and the bottom of the stairs on the right hand side. Nothing on the other side, and now we're taking fire from the back end. Here we go, flanking them, getting them from behind. Going with them, rocking along to the left and to the right, making it really difficult to aim. I'm doing very, very well for it now. Taking fire now, reloading, laying on the floor, getting prone. Picking up the AK, AK-47, one of the brightest guns in the game. Moving around, 24 minutes left to go, through the control room. Blanked him to the right, caught him off guard. So there's the door top, take the bad guy out. Why I stabbed there, I don't really know, I need to reload. Well, here we go, door's gone, where is she? There she is, so... There's a little door to move the item. The bodyguards now are going to take away the president. And the daughter to the safe place. And a good look round, nothing in there. Right, here we go, into the next level, next stage. Into the passenger compartment, take the bag guy there. The plane is coming into the land. Huge shot on the control the way, and you can see the signal is hard to go, we're on the twist. That is just. An unbelievable moment. So, what happens next? Are we dead? We survive? So here we are, home to on the wreck of the aircraft. No, no weapon. That's the first thing I noticed. No weapon. Being helped up by the aid. 
bodyguard. Get your senses together, have a good look around. And my job is now to follow this guy and find the president. At this point in the game, I didn't even know if he was alive, or dead, or the water was, or anything, so tension is really beginning to build. Pretty clever effects there, the way we're uh, limping. I think he's hurt his leg. Taking a little while to recover. Blurry vision. Oh, so there's the water. Got him dying and injured all over the place. It's just such a huge movie set. Right, swap the weapons. No cock side. I certainly didn't expect that. Oh, the plane exploded. There we go. Found the uh, second intel on that level. Injured and dead everywhere. Here we go, coming into the airport. Take out the back, guys. No cocks are helping. Never such a lot here. Try to keep your distance. Avoiding the grenades. Try to play them. Now at this point here, I was really stupid. I ran too far forward. Didn't realise there was someone behind me. And it was all far too late. So, one death. So the game restarts. We're still at the barricade. Now, the guy I've got to follow is already made a move forward. I'm going to hold my ground this time. Moving a lot slower. That's the guy that caught me the last time behind the uh, booby bin. You find a good place to hide. Reload. There we go. Out of the way again. Sloping hits. More cover. Cover to cover. Someone trying to flank me there. And we're going to flank him around this side. There we go, pull all three of those guys off guard. Reloading behind cover. Reloading behind cover. That's the last guy in this section. So, round to the front of the plane now. There's the president on the right hand side there where the arrow's pointing. And there's a chopper coming in from the dark side. It looks at this point as if it's level complete. The chopper's arrived, you've got the president on the door, sir. my job to open the door of the chopper just to get on the inside. Now when I played this the first time, objective failed, I haven't got a clue what had gone on. And then bang, here it is, Makarov. And game over. There's my bodyguard that's been showing me the way the whole level. And the president is now in captivity and in the uh, you know who I am. command of Makarov. Then you know what I want. You're insane. Russia will take all of Europe, even if it must stand upon a pile of ashes. I want the launch codes, Mr. President. You'll never get them. Every man has his weakness. Find the girl. So, coming soon. Not good yet. Open the pistol. Bang. You're out of there. Fantastic way to end a great level.